In this video, we're going to look at a very efficient way of doing this called 3D formulas. When you have workbooks with multiple worksheets, it is quite likely you will sometimes have to create calculations that use values on other sheets. So we have exactly that situation where we need to sum up the reimbursements from the individual sheets into the sheet summary. Let's start by looking at the conventional way we could do it. So we will click in the cell where we want our answer to go. So my total miles driven for all staff members for July, I'm going to type in equals and come to even and click on his miles. And then I'm going to type in a plus Come to Brody and click on July and Kevin, click on July Miles. And then, very important, don't try to click back into the summary. So, just press enter and there's our total for the July. So, that worked fine but imagine I had 25 workbooks. This would take a very long time and be very error prone. If I was working in a single worksheet, so call that two dimensions over here, I would not come and create formula that said F7, F8, F9, F10. Would I? Absolutely not. I would use a sum function which basically adds up all of this total well imagine that our worksheets are layered on top of each other if we were to try and drill down through a cell that will be well a third dimension really and the great thing is you can choose some functions in three dimensions as well as two to summarize what i want to do is sum all the cells c7 from even to kevin so let's look at how we do this. So I'm going to delete this so that you'll know that I am not cheating. <laughs> so I'm going to type my sum and open bracket. And then I'm going to click on Ivan and click on July. And then, and then hold my shift key and click on Kevin. And then you'll see they've all gone white so all c7s from even to kevin click on enter and we've got the same answer right there so that has worked perfectly but it was much quicker and much less likely to error so just bear in mind that our worksheet should be of the same look or design it should be identical and we also have relative references still working, so we don't have to do that ever again. I can use my fill handle to copy that across. There you go. And then if I double click the fill handle, that will copy all three down. So let's have a look at how to do that one more time. So I'm going to do it for the lodging and meals this time so i'm going to click into c17 and type in equals and then my sum function and then open bracket and then come to ivan and click on his lodging and then hold the shift key down and then click on kevin and you will see it all turned white again and then just press enter and there you go it's zero because as you can see we don't have any lodging here for all of this so we will just use our fill handle again to copy the formula and then double click in here there you go really nice and quick and for the miscellaneous because it's almost of the same structure as these cells i can simply copy so just remove one and copy and then paste it here 
there you have it. There's my summary expenses sheet completed. As you can see, 3D formulas are really, really efficient. There are two things to be aware of, however. So if I were to move these worksheets around, so have a quick look at my Grab Transport with Brody. Brody uses Grab Transport were 2021. If I were to move Brody's worksheet to be after Kevin, so let's see. Just let's see that summary. We have here that 2021. This is only for Brody. Brody's grab. When you move Brody to Kevin, and we'll back to summary. The total grab is lost. It's because I am summing everything from Ivan to Kevin. You see my formula? I'm summing up from Ivan to Kevin and Brody is already after Kevin. So that's what you should be aware of. So one thing to be aware of is you don't really want to be moving the sheets around too much if there are 3D formulas being used. And let's quickly put that back. So we put back Brody and as you can see, it's back again to 2021. So another limitation you've probably identified is that the structure of the workbooks you're writing up must be identical. So as you can see, all of my sheets are identical. So there, not without their limitations, but at the same time, you can see that formulas are very efficient tool for summing values across multiple worksheets where the structure is the same. So there you have it.